Hello kids, Mr. Christie here. We are going to do a little drawing lesson, a follow along. We're going to draw Bingo from Bluey. Depending on what order you see these videos in, I'm not sure every class will do them differently. You may have already drawn Bluey. We're going to draw Bingo now. If you don't know Bingo, Bingo is the... Well, what colour? Like a light brown dog. Not quite like Bluey. Bluey's blue. Probably a blue healer. And so I guess Bingo is a red healer, which is a type of dog as well. We're going to start by drawing the outline of Bingo's body. It's kind of like a rectangle, except it's a bit curved at the top. I guess it looks like a bread loaf, a loaf of bread. So we're going to start up here. We're going to go around a little bit before we get to the straight part. This is the top of Bingo's head curving around there. So we're going to go around a little bit, then we'll come down like this, and then we're going to do another curve at the bottom. So you can see it's a little bit like a rectangle, except the, the, ed the corners are curved quite a lot. And the curve's more at the top. That's a bit tricky, but you'll see that later. So we're going to do the bottom of Bingo's body now. So we've come down, around, and we're just going to go straight across. We're going to leave a tiny little gap like this. Because Bingo's paws are going to be coming down here. And we don't want to show her paws invisible. So we'll leave a little bit of a gap. And next ne or later we can fill in that gap with the paws. So down, around, a little bit of a gap, and then we're going to come back up. Straight up like that. I've got a bit of wobble in my line there, that's fine. Just accidentally bumped my hand on the table. It's no big deal. I'm going to go up like this. And just like how we left a gap for the hands, we're going to leave a gap for her eyebrows later. Or well, here's, I'm actually not sure what whether Bingo is a he or a she. I know Bluey is a girl. So Bingo's got the eyebrows here. We'll leave a bit of a gap. Go across. And we want to leave another gap for the eyebrows. So we've got two gaps there. A little bit tricky. Okay, we're going to draw Bingo's eyes. Now, two eyes. One of them, we can see the whole eye. And the other one, we can only see a bit because it's covered by the snout. Like this one. See here, it's covered. So on little Bingo here, we're going to do one big oval like this. Watch me. we we'll just do right around like that. And we'll do on the other side just the top half. And you want to come a little bit further down on this side. If you put your pencil here, we're going to go not straight across. We're going to go down a little bit to draw the top of Bingo's snout. So I've gone a little bit down and across and curled around a bit. That's going to come in. This one's a bit tricky really. Like that. Like a chicken nugget. And we'll go across and then up for Bingo's smile. And we can put the smile mark on the end there. Now let's go back up to the eyes. We're going to draw a circle like this. So Bingo is looking right at us. And another here.
Now this is tricky, we're just going to do a little line around the eyes that we've already got. Because Bingo kind of has a dark circle around her eyes. So just going to go like this. Doesn't have to be a big one, just little. See, mine's even touching for a bit. That's fine. We're going to draw a rounded off triangle here. Looks a bit like a guitar pick if we've got anyone who plays guitar. Or if mum or dad or big brother or sister play guitar. And we'll put a little bit of shine on the top like that so we can tell the nose is nice and wet. Okay, let's do Bingo's eyebrows now. So above each eye, we have these little ovals like that. One. And two. Bingo's eyebrows are actually jumping around a little bit. They're not always at the same height. Let's do Bingo's ears now, I think. The dogs in Bingo have, in Bluey, sorry, have triangle ears like this. So we're going to start here and just go straight up, nice and easy. Turn it around a little bit. She doesn't have sharp ears. And go back down. See, that looks like a triangle. Like a corn chip. And we'll do the inside of her ears here. Up, turn around, and go back down. Come over to this side. We'll go up, turn around, and come back down. We'll do the inside bit as well. Up. Turn around, come back down. Cool, getting pretty close. We've got Bingo's face mostly done. Let's start to work on her limbs and her tail. Is a tail a limb? I'm not too sure. So let's start here. We've got Bingo's arm or leg that comes straight down both sides, but we're not going to go all the way because we're going to draw her little paw on the end. So it goes straight down like this and we'll go a bit of a W and then one extra on the end. And Bingo's got a little glove there, so we'll draw that on the paw. Let's draw Bingo's tail. So Bingo's tail goes like this, out, bit of a curve. And we'll come here, out with a bit of a curve and we can draw a few curves on the end to show it's nice and soft. So I've got the face done, the body, the paw and the tail. We might just draw here A line there to show where the tail changes colours. Let's draw Bingo's legs. So two legs down the bottom because we've got one, two here, three, four down the bottom. So they're going to come straight down like that. And um, go across the bottom.
going to go down, not all the way because we want to have a little bit of room for the toes. I'll do a curve like that. Bingo's got toes at the front, so we're just going to do two little lines like that. One, two, and a sock. Let's do on this side as well. Same thing, go down. Do the bottom of Bingo's foot. Go back up like that and connect the front of her leg. Got two little toes here, so we'll just show those with the lines. Sorry, I guess we've got three little toes. We'll show that with two lines. And we'll do a little sock there to we'll make it easier to colour in later. Now, Bingo's got one arm here. There's another one on the other side, but we can't see it. All we can see down the bottom is a little... Boop, like that. That would be just fine to show us that she, there's another arm on the side. On the other side, sorry. Okay, cool. All we've got to do now is a few little lines for her spots. Or his, I'm actually not sure. For the spots Bingo has. So we'll start here, we're going to do a line down like that, just connect to the eye, don't draw through the eye, just to connect from the head down to the eye. And if you imagine that line keeps going behind the eye, behind the eye, and it pops out here and connects to the edge of the body. On the other side, we've got the same thing. We've got a line coming down here. Down, down, down. And it gets to the eye. We have to imagine the line keeps going all the way through the eye, through the snout, and pops out here, like that. Bit of a tricky one, that one. Now here, we've got the snout, we actually want to do a little straight line there for Bluey's mouth. And then we're going to do a line from the bottom of the mouth all the way across and around to the eye. So I'm just going to go like this, nice big curvy line, perfect. Bingo's got a belly patch here. So we might start from this side actually. We'll go a little bit in, up, across, and down. We've got a few spots here on the back. So we've got one, and we've got a little spot on the tail here, so we're going to do another spot like that. Cool, that's our bingo all done. If you're not sure what colours bingo are, you could look bingo up on the internet and see if you can find out, but bingo is mostly brown, light, a brown, a light brown, like a tan colour, and a bit of a sandy colour here. Once you finish drawing yours and colouring it, you can tell your teacher, maybe they'll upload it to Google Classroom and you guys can all have a look at each other's drawings. I might write Bingo's name down here, just like I did with Bluey. So we've got Bluey here. We'll do B. I N G 
uh, bingo. Cool, I hope you had fun doing that, kids. This was Drawing with Mr. Christie. I will see you on the next video.